Hi there. This lesson is going to be on classifying triangles. And just as a general definition of triangles, it is a closed figure that has three sides and three angles. And the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. Okay, so if you added up all the angles, you would get 180 degrees. <coughs> So the first thing we're going to classify triangles using the angles. Uh, the first classification or first type is going to be the acute triangle. And you get an acute triangle when all of the angles are, <clears throat> as the, the name indicates, acute. So this is going to look like this, to where all of your angles are less than 90 degrees. If you remember that d definition of an acute angle it's less than 90 degrees okay our next type of triangle is the right triangle and this is identified by having at least uh, by having one right angle in it um, so it's going to look like this to where you have one of the angles is a right angle okay Remember that angle is, is equal to 90 degrees. The third type of triangle is an obtuse triangle, and this type of triangle has one obtuse angle. So, again, going back to our, our obtuse angles, it's greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So it has one angle that is an obtuse angle. Now, the second way to identify or classify triangles is going to be by using sides, okay? So, the first type of triangle when classifying using sides is a scalene triangle. And this type of triangle has no congruent sides. So, it's going to be one of those kind of odd-shaped odd -shaped, uh, triangles that none of the sides are are the same. Okay? The second type of classification is an isosceles triangle. And this occurs when you have at least two congruent sides. Um, so typically it's going to be the, the tall part going up. So this side and this side are uh, the same size, the same length. Okay? <laughs> And finally, the third type of triangle is the equilateral triangle, and this occurs when you have all three sides are the same. And I'm going to do this the best, just to understand that my drawing is not the greatest, but whenever I put these lines here, this means that the sides that have the two lines are all the same size. All right. So these are the different ways of classifying triangles. Remember, you can do it using angles and through using sides. We'll get some more practice of this during class, so bring these notes with you the next time. We will see you then.